All right, and we're back. I'll let them uh, let them go. So we're gonna have Terra Nova Shops versus Salvagers Oath. So we're gonna have the War of Nullrod versus a two-one white creature for four. Most likely, he's just going to board them out. Uh, it's interesting he went all in with the Salvagers and doesn't have a Lion's Eye Diamond. I think it's pretty I mean, interesting. Does he need the Lion's Eye Diamond? I mean, if you go two Salvagers, you, you kind of want it, right? Well, you just need one Lotus, so. Go a little bit. Um, yeah. The old Bomberman list used to play two, two, uh, two Salvagers. The trinket mage, I guess, though, to fetch out the uh, lotus. Well, no, that, that like that's fine when you need to draw them, but oath says you get a free salvager, so you can easily play one. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, so we have um, double null rod, double I mean, null rod thorn. Oh, who's going first? Oh, uh, Matt's on the play. <laughs> Matt keeps his hand. <laughs> I mean, what's what's better? Yeah, he, like he, he needs to draw something off these probes. He gets right a, he gets a scry. It's a He's scry right off the bat. Blown out by those no rods. He yes he yes he needs. He just, but he's gonna see it because he's on the play. So true. All right, so he's waiting. So both players have kept. He's gonna scry now. He gets a scry and then he gets two get taxing probes. Yeah, I mean he could find something. He's a lot of mana. It's six mana. He pretty much cast everything in his deck, except for a uh, gristle brand. He can salvage his combo in turn one. <laughs> If he gets really lucky. Oh my god, he can. <laughs> I was not thinking about that. But this becomes a completely different game when he passes. Yes, 100%. Becomes, what can I do? Good. <clears throat> so he puts, so he scries and finds a mox jet. So he puts that on the bottom. Yeah, and so then... you see him in, in chat. Uh, Mickey's talking about Dota. He's a uh, <laughs> he's like a he's like a Dota pro and StarCraft pro. Mickey's like the most absurd gamer. <laughs> <laughs> it's good at everything. Must be nice. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. I'm trying to be good at one thing, and this guy's good at three <laughs> things. All right, Flood Strand. Kind of where he wants to go. I do like uh, Mickey throwing his hand right on the table. <laughs> so null, double null rod. So I guess he wants to cast the second null rod just to power up his academy. Let's cook a screenshot. Nice. <laughs> and what are we doing here? So he's gonna. He, he's, he's, gonna a, again. he's just gonna. He's just gonna keep searching. Um, yeah, I. I, I I mean, he could top, I guess, and then probe, but I think I probably just probe. I probe, you get to see a card deeper. Like you're gonna start being stung by the by that mana crypt. He just he wants something some, big. Yeah. He needs something big. Yeah, he needs something on the table. I, I don't know. I think you just gotta peel. Yeah. Like all all that stuff's gonna get shut off. You gotta peel, yeah. and then you gotta yeah. top and pray. Is it? Yeah, because if you peel something right now, then it just yeah, then you don't need to worry about the top. The top hitting something. Um, and then you get to look at the top, and then you get to crack a fetch, and then you get to look at the top again. But each each time you're looking at the top, you're getting less and less mana. So right. This probe lets him play a six drop. I mean, next turn the probe first costs two. The, the first look on the top sees he gets four mana. The second look on the top, he gets three mana. But he's gonna use the top right away, I guess. I don't know why he just paid a mana for a lotus. He probably played the wrong card on his hand. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now the now now the mana is spent. Maybe he's playing Lucky over his spear in play. Alright, so I guess he wants to look first, because then he gets to shuffle. Uh, yeah, Brian agrees with probe into Ariok Salvagers. Actually, does he even win the game? He can just look with his top a bunch of times. Yeah, I mean, you get six looks, though. <laughs> so okay. Like one, one halfway decent card. <laughs> you have infinite mana. You have Gristle Brand. You have... Uh, You're not you moving know. the cards. We're not sure what the top ones are. You have, you have two Pirates and a Gristle Brand, which would be an automatic win if he had Salvager's combo. And he would have gotten to see six cards. 
Yeah. But now okay. he's... I don't understand why... Uh, oh, he already looked. Okay. Yeah, he looked, and now he's breaking. He saw nothing, and now he's breaking. Yeah. And now he has to really consider, because he has Jaces, he has Salvagers. I like think he... Salvagers, Salvagers is terrible to play. Yeah, no, Salvagers doesn't do anything. anything. I think he needs to probe blind, because then he can top. I don't like topping first. I definitely do not like topping with the Tropical Island. Yeah. Now he, just... ha- he, he only has... He can only make one color. I don't even know what there is in his deck that he even gets right now. Other than like... Oath? Okay. Yeah. yeah Oath and then... Thins. So he saw on top an Oath, a Pirate's Bellbomb, and then... I mean, uh, sorry, a top, Pirate's Bellbomb, and Social Recall. So oh, yeah. Probes okay. into he, Ancestral. He yeah, when they when they move the cards, so yeah, yeah, okay. When they move the cards, yeah. yeah. I I do plan cause a try, so <laughs> I should notice that at some point. <laughs> well, playing playing it is fine, but the the spectre mode is something completely different. Yeah, yeah. Right, oh, we yeah, found the cool. salvagers. It's way too late. Yeah, he can't even cast it anymore. No, he could play another top. He can look with his top again. This is awful. <laughs> <laughs> That no, uh, like I'm saying, the null rod is the null rod is like game right now. Yeah, the null rod. If you, you maybe pirate, found I drop the drop the pirate and just like pop it and draw a card. <laughs> I guess that... I don't. I don't know. He has five cards in his know. graveyard, three cards in play, and he's the only two lines are, are are play the pirate and sacrifice it to draw a card, or play, or look at or look at the top again. So he looked at the top. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, and he's. Yeah. Oh. I mean, he already found the best card he could have found. Two with late, one blue. Left. Yeah, two blue saying, left. But yeah, yeah. He, has, he has one blue left now. He already he already looked at the top. He's looking <laughs> at the top again. Um, Matt just loves sensei to winning top. So, is he just conceding? He is just conceding. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I'll spare you the misery of. <laughs> Be well, sitting here with, with you having a null rod in play. <laughs> I mean, we well, shows the top three, so three, six, nine. I think I still kind of want to keep playing that because if he draws oath, he's kind of in it, right? Um, I many oaths? He has to oath a lot of times. He oaths twice, and he if, if one or two is the gristle brand, and he yeah. might he might oath the uh, ancient grudge. Well, I guess Ancient Grudge isn't going to cast anytime soon. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't have scooped. I wouldn't but... have scooped either, but I think he's just embarrassed of how much, how, how many cards he looked at, and all of them were air. Well, the problem. I mean, I just really don't like playing that top. Yeah. I think he turn. I think you had the probe right there, and um. Well, I, mean, he wouldn't have hit, I don't think he would have hit anything anyway, but. Um. I I agree with I I wanted the blind probe. I think looking first before using a uh, fetch land, that's fine. But, yeah, no, I don't. I guess, okay, so sideboard. So he's got Nature's Claims, he's got Steel Sabotages, he's got Sphinx of the Steel one. I say yeah, easy, Salvagers yeah. out, Sphinx in. Probably doesn't need the, he doesn't want the Pirate's Ball Bombs either. Like, Mickey is going to keep uh, Null Rod in there. So we got two um, Fluster Storms I mean, out. Pirate's, Pirate's pretty good. Uh, when he doesn't have the null rod, though, because pirate can kill his um, revokers, it can kill his revokers, it can kill his manlands, and it can. It's just a permanent on the table. It's gonna be relevant. Any, I just think I just rather have anything else like grudge. So grudge claim sabotage. That's five right I mean, there. He, he, he six. has he has he has mis- missteps, fluster storms, and salvagers. That's six cards that are coming out of his deck automatically. Then his repeal is probably the next worst card. So it'll be seven. And he's bringing in two claims, you said, an ancient grudge, two steel sabotage, it's five, two sudden shock, that's seven. Yeah. Or, or you can bring a knee hole instead of the sudden shock. So I'll Mickey... probably, probably bring in the sudden shock. Sudden shock seems pretty good. Yeah, Mickey's, seems like seven, got, seven. Mickey's got cages. Um, uh, I, take a list again. I guess goes quarter. I don't think he has any basics in the deck. Yeah, Mickey has cages. That's it. Yeah, he can swap the cages for the 
provokers or mm. the cages for the dismembers cages for dismembers cages for dismember yeah that's probably the uh, that's probably all he does maybe the sculpting steel if he puts right. that on the Sphinx of Steel when plan sculpting steel is oh, amazing I how many how many basics does Matt play does uh, Ghost Warriors uh, Wastelands here oh no he plays one island one island the it, second you could consider it um because yeah. if if Matt decides to fetch that island then those become strip mines. <laughs> All right. It's going to be, yeah, it's, it's, well, what also sucks is Matt was on the play and he just was annihilated by his opponent's opening hand. So that's a little I mean, downside as yeah. well. Yeah. It's almost like, like I, was, I think I was saying this before, the, you know, at the start, Norod is the yeah. key to this matchup, and Mickey had two of them. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't know. I think I'd at least play it out. Like, what if Mickey just doesn't draw lands? You know? What if he doesn't draw lands? Had, and then He had lands in his hand. He had two lands. He had Academy, and he had uh, Null Rod. Oh, right. No, it workshop, yeah, workshop and academy. So he would go. Yeah, he cast everything in his hand. <laughs> he goes in that rod turn one, and then turn two, uh, rod something probably, or I don't know. Sphere. He can, he can cast everything. Rod yeah. sphere. Yeah, it still doesn't deal damage. He had the batter school too. He had a clock in his hand. All right, so. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... He has the, the chalice still. So he kept Alice the chalice in. He kept the sculpting steel in. Okay. So those oh, are two big, two... two big things that we were talking about. Possibly him, not um, possibly him setting out. So he kept both of them in. We so kind of man has to keep this hand, but it sucks so probably, against. Now I'm thinking about the, the problem, really probably big problem with chalice on the draw is now you want to drop it at one. Yeah. And dropping it at one is going to shut off all your cages. Dropping yeah. it at two is going to shut off all your spheres. Um, I mean, dropping it at two also shuts off his oath. I mean, maybe that's worth it. I don't know. I think so. So, uh, <laughs> Matt has to mulligan again. He's going to scry. See what's up. Hopefully it's not... Ooh, mana confluence. Ugh. Yeah, he has to keep that, though. It has an ancient grudge. He's got a two yeah, for it one. An ancient, it has an ancient grudge and a force of will and a time walk. So, yeah. I mean, those are all... Pretty good cards. I mean, I don't want to cast a time walk off those confluences. He kept but... the repeal in, which I would not have done. But I mean, I don't yeah. really understand what it does. I guess it stops Charles for zero. Mickey plays Charles for one here, you know, and just he's got a man. Like just goes factory, factory mocks play Thorn next turn, play Charles for one. Pretty good to me. Yeah, yeah, definitely with Thorn. He needs to draw. So Matt needs to draw another land. Or Mox in order to do something with his hand. Oh no, he's got Force. Force got Pitch. Force. force Pitch Repeal. So Repeal is you, a good you, card to yeah. keep in. <laughs> Just a fist of Force. Okay. I mean, it's <laughs> terrible in every other situation. It costs like infinite mana to bounce something. <laughs> no, it costs one blue to bounce a Mox. Oh, is Chelsea for zero? You can do that right now. <laughs> he can. Playing it at zero. Okay. Now, is he... Is he scared of Salvager's combo, maybe? Uh, I mean, he has Thor, and that shuts it off, too. He has but... no Null Rods, probably. I could see that. Zero, and then he goes land Thorn, and then Thorn gets forced. And then he's in a pretty good position. Thorn, then... gets for... yeah. Thorn gets forced, and then Mickey needs to draw something, because he has two clones in his hand. Yes. And just a bunch of man lands. So, Thorn. Um, so, does he, in response, bounce the Chalice just to draw a card? I, there's no better card to pitch to um, force well, right the now. Problem, yeah, yeah. The problem is you lose your card to pitch. Yeah, he's pitched the time It all walk. depends on whether or not you think you're going to draw a Mox off the top. He's thinking on this. Is he going to pitch the time walk? Okay, no, pitch the repeal. The time walk. He it's thought a, for yeah. a little bit, so maybe he was thinking about getting rid of that time is walk. He, he can always just grudge the chalice anyway. Yeah, that's true. I mean, do you think he does now? I guess he's afraid of workshop. He doesn't need to. He doesn't need to grudge the chalice until it's relevant. But okay, well, yeah. this is oath. But the problem is that Mickey's hand is really good against oath. <laughs> yeah, Mickey's hand is Just great against oath. Three man lands and, and a couple <laughs> clones. So even if Matt gets that 
oath off. He just or sure. it. Oh. Okay, so he gets um, to take one less damage to play this. He's just got oath, right? He's got to play it. I mean, oath yeah. Of Druids. It's not going to be activated right away, though. No. I mean, he's got man lands. He's not even, not even just, right. I mean, I guess. I don't know. Matt, Matt, I guess. Matt's, Matt's in a pretty decent situation because he has the ancient grudge. So Matt has to keep anything relevant off the table. Right. And he has to draw, but he has to draw an orchard or something else relevant before his man lands start killing him. I mean, if he goes, if he goes Mishra here, he can pump the. It's a pretty fast clock. Ball. No, he's probably going to play Sphere, right? He's got one no, card. He's gonna in play, hand. he's going to play the Sphere, yeah. Yeah, he wants to play out Sphere because then he can clone Sphere. Which he can't, he can't clone it this turn, but yeah, he can clone it later. Eventually, he has two clones for the Sphere. Plays the Mutal Vault, I think. I think so. Yeah. No, Matt has an Ancient Grudge. I mean, Ancient Grudge doesn't kill Mutavault, which is funny. That's just if a colorless Mickey creature. That, yeah, if Mickey goes for that clone next turn, it's not going to go well for him. No, he'll get another... If it gets, if it gets Ancient Grudge, the Spheres gets Ancient Grudge, then there's not really anything to target. So this is funny. Now this Null Rod hurts Mickey more than Matt. Oh yeah, way more. <laughs> he wants that. He needs that Mana Source. Well, factory easy play, and then looks like he's metamorphing. Metamorphing. I'm sorry, metamorphing. I can just say clone. I can't. Metamorphing. Meta. No, you, you 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 sculpting steel because the metal the metal morph. <laughs> metamorph. <laughs> can um can take the uh can copy his gristle brand. Yeah, and then grudge take two to grudge. Take the sphere. Yeah, and he's gonna copy. He has to copy the. Mox. Jet. That's the only relevant thing. So he gets a Mox Jet. He doesn't have the mana to animate. So. It's definitely not what Mickey wanted. Yeah, that Null Rod is kind of dead. For what it's worth. Yeah, now he has two mana sources he's shutting off. Yeah. So it's as it comes into play? So it's when on yeah, the stack you hit it? Okay, yeah. Yeah, Mickey rarely got rounded out here. Yeah. Matt has made him a copy of Mox Jet for him to use. <laughs> I don't actually like I, I prefer the sculpting steel with the Mox Jet written on it. Okay. It helps you not forget it. Yeah. Right, and then Mickey's like, what do I do with this? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a good point. Uh, exile. <laughs> exile. Yeah. Put an exile, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, with stuff like Ace and stuff like that can be a little wonky. He draws Orchard. Oh, yeah, okay. That's game. Um Mickey really needed a sphere out. If he had some spheres out, he could stop Matt wouldn't be able to do a lot when he oaths, but Matt uh, Mickey has nothing on the table really. It's a bunch of man lands. I just hold on to this brainstorm, right? Yeah. yeah, we'll see. I'm making his top deck or something, I guess. Hey, he's a top deck a lot, honestly, because he's got Grudge in the Grudge in tow. Ancient Tomb well, is not going to cut it. But then Page the Metal Morph. Page would have shut off the Grudge. Oh, yeah, that's right. Page would have been perfect draw. Page um, would have been what he needed. He just smashes for six here, I think. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Give him as low as possible. Well, yeah, it gives as low as possible because it makes Crystal Brand less. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess it doesn't yeah, matter. Can he just attack? But yeah, he's gonna attack for five and then play in Norod. Then um, Mutal Vaults are assembly workers, so they can be bumped by Mistress Factory. Yes, they're everything. They're a dragon. They're mer they're a uh, merfolk. Name your favorite creature type. They're that. <laughs> um, Man of the Sea. <laughs> Is that the actual? Is no, it, it's it's a human medicine? rogue or something. So they, they ratted him to human rogue. That's a horrible. <laughs> <laughs> a horrible errata. <laughs> stang, it's a stang. Oh, it, it, Mutavolt is also a stang. I think that is the creature type, right? Stang. <laughs> yeah, the card Stang makes another card that's called Stang, and on Magic Online, the only time I've seen this is the only thing I have on Magic Online is the Momir avatar. And I just play that against my friend because you just play Stang with basic. Is, Stang, 
Stang is a human warrior now. Oh, but it makes a Stang token, and it's in all caps. That's why I like it. <laughs> The yeah. triumphant, it's a triumphant it's charge. Stang, Stang twin token. It's a three four. Stang. He himself is a three. He is a three four himself. Right. And if, yeah, and if and the he, token and dies, when, he dies. And if he dies, the and token. And when play, yeah, he makes another three. So he makes two two three fours for four, a green and a red. <laughs> really good card. <laughs> uh, all right, we get an oath activation. How lucky. Oath. Yeah, true. It, it does is is targeting him. Oh, salvagers. Yep, salvagers in. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> that is not good. <laughs> top top four cards though. It's not that big a deal. Um. Yeah, he gets to keep using the oath. So yeah, I mean, that that's how Kelly oath is designed. Is that you just keep using your oath? Right. He does another orchard. So orchard will keep him off of um, lighting Mickey oath. Where that would actually be pretty good. Well, you miss a lot of stuff. I don't want because you could do the meta meta morph. You could do <laughs> lodestone. You could do revoker. The revoker probably wouldn't even be that good. I don't know. It's still a free creature. You just take the card draw, right? Mm-hmm. So technically, he could return that pirate spell bomb if he really wanted to. And he can just grudge the. He could just grudge the null rod. Yeah. And what does the pirate spell bomb do, though? It doesn't do anything, but it does allow a a live draw of. It allows a live draw of Black Lotus here, or just milling the Black Lotus. I mean, he could do it end of turn. So yeah. maybe he did bring in the Ghost Quarter then. Yeah. He went in the main, right? Uh, no, those were sideboarded. He just wants extra oh. wastelands. I have no idea what he took out. Maybe he didn't bring the cage in. Did not bring cage in. I don't know. We can't see sideboarding. <laughs> I could ask him after the game, but it's a bit of yeah, a mystery. Yeah, yeah, I'm out. I'm just, I'm just hypothesizing. Um, I, oh, I think you want Cage. Like, it's still good. It still shuts well, down he, Ancient Grudge. He, so he brought in Ghost Quarter. He did not take out Chalice. He did not take out Sculpting Steel, which would have been like the next card that would have taken out after Dismember, probably. Because we're maybe Revoker. But I don't know. Maybe Revo- Actually, Revoker's terrible. Yeah, you have to take out Revoker. Take out Revoker, Dismember, and you got eight slots. You can bring in four cages, four Ghost Quarters, and maybe a Batter Skull, or maybe a Tyranacle yeah. just for fun. Yeah. Probably not a Tyranacle. That was just... Well, no, actually, Tyranacle does allow you to kill creatures, for what it's worth. Because, you know, if you bring your opponent down to zero lands... Right, so <laughs> you can sack your spirits and make him pay for stuff, and... It's probably not good. <laughs> but Yeah. Matt drew a uh a orchard for the turn after he oathed. Got a couple questions about it. So tapping Ghost Quarter. I'm assuming he doesn't really care about the lands, right? Maybe he'll be sporting and kill a Well Matt Matt hasn't milled his island yet or played his island, so the Ghost Quarter doesn't take anything away. Yeah. He wants to kill an orchard. I don't like that, but I kind of like. Well, actually, no. It doesn't like do any, that doesn't, that doesn't do any. Taking the orchard doesn't do anything yeah. good for you. He already has another orchard. That and he only had one. If only had one orchard, okay. But he has two, so. So he's brainstorming. Um, Zach Mox land nothing. So whatever he bring puts back gets milled. So he's gonna keep the deck. He can put back the other two. The other two get milled. Yeah, he doesn't give a crap about the mana. The deck either. I mean, I don't know. I mean, the deck doesn't really do anything, I guess, on this table either. But yeah, he's going to keep the mana. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he could steal a mox that doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he'd, steal, he'd steal a broken <laughs> mox. <laughs> like, I stole your jewelry. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's like actual jewelry, yeah. It's not uh, Yeah. It's not mystical or magical jewelry. It's literally <laughs> just for it's literally just for chill. Looks. And that makes me want to play Nora, like, in paper. It's like, oh, you paid how much for that Mox? It doesn't work. <laughs> you paid how much for Lotus? It doesn't that work. First, that was one of my first decks in uh, Vintage. <laughs> Nora to Blood Moons. <laughs> I'm playing these mountains, and Ancient Tome was, like, $5 at the time. I'm playing, like, my whole deck was, like, 100 bucks, and, <laughs> and I'm shutting off their, like, $200 islands and $300 pieces of power. At the time. At the time, 200 and 300 yeah, <laughs> they, are, they are slightly more expensive nowadays. Um, four four times as much. Yeah, I know. Good old buyouts. All right, 
So he's attacking with everyone. I mean, well, doesn't he want to attack with both Mutavaults and not the factory? Yeah, he meant he's that wrong. He's fixing it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, magic's an unregulated market, so yeah, it's, it's a nice little thought experiment for economists if they wanted to use it. As what what happens if we if we take all regulation away from the stock market? Yeah. True. Right, so yeah, pump, and then he gets a deal on four, and then let's see what. So, if Matt kept double um, solvers, and he doesn't have his Sphinx in there, that'll be pretty goofy. All right, so he takes four. Oh no, three. Yeah, the pump was just for a null. All right, so let's see what uh, the oath has to say. So something big is coming next turn. Um, so Matt's thinking about returning this uh, spell bomb and grudging the um... grudge the rod, bring back spell bomb. Well, the problem is grudging the yeah. So now he can mill another. He needs to mill another grudge. He needs to get rid of the chalice too to combo. Yeah. I guess if you just mill enough ancient grudges, you're fine. Yeah. Brings it's back. There's another spell orchard bomb. token. Appreciate him using the correct tokens. First colorless yeah. card. Yeah, there's only one colorless spirit token. Oh! <laughs> it just hits the bristle rand. First card. Easy. Yeah, it looks like it looks like this game. We're going to game three. Well, he has he can't activate the bristle rand. He's gonna attack. But yeah, it's a lot of life. Yeah. And he's a pirate spell bomb. Yeah. I mean, he's just in a turtle right now. Um, I mean, attacking with a 7-7 doesn't sound like turtling to me, but... There's a metamorph. The, I mean, the metamorph's going to combo the Gristle Brand. I don't think this game's over. Oh, yeah, that's true. No, he has hard cast Force of Will. Yeah, he's got it. Oh, oh yeah, he does have... Yeah. That was, huh. his, that was his draw step. Okay. His top two cards were huh. Gristle Brand... That's probably, like, one of the, some of the best cards you can see. <laughs> yeah. So here, this is actually very important. If he his moxes are turned on, so he can go thorn, and then he can metamorph, metamorph, metamorph. The gristlebrand, and it will resolve. Yeah. 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 Oh no, he's going for it. First, but he's gonna go for that. Going for that. Get force of world. I don't think he was thinking about hardcast force of will. Yeah, I mean it's. Matt was just hell bent. So. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you can't. Well, if you have the cards, you play around it, right? Thorn doesn't affect well, his yeah, metamorphs. Yeah, yeah, and you really need the, you need something in play. But I think he wants to be able to draw with this with this crystal brand once it resolves and yeah. see a bunch of like hate pieces. He, he wants to get a null rod on the table yeah. again, um, and it's just gonna turn out poorly for him. I mean, I don't think it was a bad play. I mean, we could see the force of will. So <laughs> it puts him at two. It does put him at matter. two. It doesn't crystal do that. Has, like, yeah, the way the damage works now is you don't die if life right. If you're dying to lethal yeah, damage, yeah. if you have life link, I, you don't die. Yeah, that's how damage always works. Yeah, I think that's a, oh wait no because life link used to be like a trigger. Right? Yeah, it used to be different. Yeah, yeah, it used to be a trigger. Yeah, so you get you get dealt damage and then it would trigger and then it would yeah. So does the oath again? So not, not what do you think? Simultaneously. Yeah, it's it's simultaneous. Yeah, it used to be different. Yeah, I, I took a break for. Oh, you have to. You have. To to oath yeah That's it doesn't a... matter i mean you oath you win if you had a salvagers and anything good you can't <laughs> lose off this oath unless the salvagers are your last card yeah yep but yeah so you see, you see the chat yeah <laughs> it, it, that, i would like if i played that he, he's like if i play that thorn he's thinking to himself but I yeah mean, i don't know I, you gotta play to your outs and i think that was a fun line I just there's no reason not to play Thorn. Yeah, he just can seize. Well, there, there is there is because it locks you. It puts you under a sphere yourself. And now if all if you just mill into something, he can get good stuff out of his graveyard and just you know kill you next turn. If you don't really set up a good lock. Well, it's yeah. Oh, I get you. Yeah, because he wanted to play it and then draw off of it. Yeah, and then draw seven and then play some stuff off of it. Um, I mean, it was a little bit greedier. It definitely was not the um, most conservative line, but I mean, yeah, that's playing around hardcast force of all is 
not on everyone's mind. Well, I guess it was on Brian's mind last match, but when you have the blue yeah. mirror, that's what you're always thinking about. It's like, what is my, which counter spells does my uh, opponent have? And he had no cards in hand. So yeah. he top decked. <laughs> he he top decked. Top decks a force of will. It's literally like the only card that that kills him, that that punishes him for that line. It's him top decking a force of will. Yeah. So no lands versus first turn oath with no orchard. And he mulligans into a worse hand. Oh man. Mm. It's it's got sphere. It's what you want to start with, right? It draws one land and uh, he's fine. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it does nothing. Yeah. Um, you get a scry. I don't Rough know. If scry does I mean, you could scry for try and get a land, I and mean, you get to see one extra card, I guess, right away. Yeah. He needs to land right off the top, though. He can't get a land like three turns later. No, because Matt can just chain the mocks and then play around Sphere. When he draws Workshop, he's flying high, right? Top deck Workshop. And he's got double oh. Metamorph. I mean, yeah. There are very <laughs> few situations where Top deck Workshop is not a great draw. <laughs> but Yeah. Um, I mean, Top deck any land, he can at least cast a second Sphere. Um. And then locks him out further because everything costs two. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think, I think I would throw it back, but it's, it's just turned on. Hand. It's turned on by a lot of top decks. It's turned on by lands. It's not really turned on by Moxen. I mean, you play it's a lot. He's just sided in three. Yeah. What is he playing? He he is playing a lot of lands. Yeah. It's it's, uh, it's, it's Terranova, so it has extra lands. Four twenty twenty two in the main. And then he brought in two more, so he has twenty four lands. It's like a standard deck. Um, what does it make his odds? His odds are less than 50%, though. Yeah. But he has a scry, so it's over 50% with the scry. And our chat saying we mulligan the hand. I, I, I think both sides have merit. I do not think it's a good hand. Yeah, it's like definitely it's, it's like definitely it's not a good hand. Enough. Yeah, but is it a bad enough hand to get rid of? He's looking at the top card. Oh, he shuffled his library. Oh, jeez. <laughs> usually, when you're a player too, you're kind of like still thinking about that last game, you know, last couple games, and Mickey just got like, you know. Ground out in terms of card advantage last game. Yeah, he had so, plenty of lands. So he's he's thinking if he mulligans again. Um, no, he was scrying. We're uh, doing scry right okay. now. He messed he up. Spy. Okay. He messed up and shuffled by accident. It doesn't really matter. That was a shop. No, he, no, he kept it. Kept it. We he messed up his scry. Okay. Just rescry. Well, no, no, no. Well, the card he scryed basically is now just got shuffled in instead. Yeah, yeah. He I mean, wanted to keep it. He wanted to keep it on top. He didn't. He didn't move it. All right. Yeah. So I mean, there's no up, way. Yeah. 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 I mean, you can put it. You can let him put it on the top if you want. If you think he's. If we know what do we we don't know what it was. He didn't. He didn't move the card anywhere, so he kept it on top. So it was a good card to keep on top. Yeah, rescry would be, I guess the. Okay, so let's find out the rescry. The I guess the downside of a of a manual program, but it's fine. At least you don't lose to. I mean, it's real life. I mean, <laughs> it's much more real life. This stuff happens in real life all the time. Yeah, that's that, that's I mean, maybe, maybe not accidentally shuffling. <laughs> right. No one's just gonna be like, oh crap. <laughs> Other Unless they're just so other accidents happen. Unless they're just so ingrained to shuffle everything that they touch. <laughs> <laughs> so he looks at the top one. Don't shuffle. It feels weird playing, you know, like a poker or like a Uno with someone that's not a magic player. Because they're not you're constantly like... shuffling their hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're flicking <laughs> your hand around. You're like, like oh, Uno, let's go. <laughs> 
<laughs> what's what's everyone? Doing everyone's everyone's just standing there like this, like. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Start again. So the last time so I, I played Uno about like a month ago, I won, I won three straight games, and I was like, "This is a joke." <laughs> <laughs> you guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> there were like six or seven people games too. <laughs> like, yeah. This isn't even <laughs> statistically possible. <laughs> then it was like a luck game, right? <laughs> um, they played with like what they called they they call, they called them the black rules or what? <laughs> black rule. <laughs> what does that even mean? Would you get to play multiple cards on one turn? Oh man, that reminds me of when I was uh, really new, where they would want to play turbo games, where you draw two cards a turn and play two lands a turn. <laughs> you just top deck orchard. Turbo games sound fun. <laughs> uh, I just drew orchard. Oh, he played the. Uh, oh no, he can make green off of it. Yeah. So it was another ancient tomb on top, which he can't uh, cast. So he's just about to take a bunch more damage. Oh, he's about to take four to play a second sphere. Oh, okay. So now he has to draw pretty well in order to get this lodestone into play. But then again, that's just, that double sphere is he can't even cast his metamorphs now. Well, he well double. I mean, he's gonna lose this game. There's Matt, an EE and Matt can fan. kill him. Yeah, he can just uh kill him unless he I mean, just doesn't care. He's happy because like, he's got tomb uh, tomb. Yeah, why didn't he not play? Either I have no idea, but I, I think he wants to lock him under his tomb. It's... It doesn't matter. I guess now the, the E is dead. Yeah, there's a null rod out. Yep, that, that tomb, the double tomb, is so much damage. Yeah, double tomb is really a rough draw. Response: He brainstorms and throws that mox away. So he's got to wait two more turns now, and the E E doesn't do anything. Now he gets to shuffle <laughs> yeah. away. Oh my gosh, and his metamorph steal too, too, when he tries to cast. Oh, yeah. All right, so his metamorph is dead in this hand, though. He can't cast um, them. He basically I'll can't cast them. I'll he can play one. Four. His life okay. total. One, it's two, three, six, four, five. It would cost six life to cast a metamorph right now. Draw <laughs> something not a pain land? Oh, good, Ghost Quarter. Don't use it. Please don't use <laughs> you it. Can, you can play Ghost you Quarter. You need it. And you can take six to copy my sphere again. <laughs> Oh, oh he's man. using it. I guess you have to. He's slowing him There's down. My, well, Matt, Matt got the island, so it's actually okay. Right now. Oh no, yeah, there we go. Um, I actually drew the islands, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those tombs. As much as I love ancient tomb, I just hate it at the same time. It's just the worst thing ever. Yeah, Tom. The yeah, the hand was not good. Yeah, we we agree. The hand he, was not and, good, and and he did not draw well to no. to fix the hand. So. I mean, he scried and kept Ancient Tomb on the top, so he was like, all right, I'm going to go Tomb Tomb. He's like, he's, yeah, he said, screw it, I have a land. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be picky about what land it is. Better not play this Null Rod. He cannot play this Null Rod. He, no, he cannot. It is a life management game, yeah, at this point for him. And for Matt, it's just coasting into victory. Yeah. And I, and so Oath costs two, so he's going to go Orchard. Oath, yeah, yeah. Then it's just it's this game. Even Mickey, even if Mickey starts drawing stuff, it doesn't. He just doesn't have the life total to fight this. So boom, Oath of Druids. That's pretty I much mean, a blue I guess card, right? Conceivably, <laughs> Matt could end up accidentally passing with a Gristlebrand mill into Gristlebrand, and then he gets to metamorph it, and Matt would have to be. Extremely, extremely con unlucky on his draws off Gristle Brand. Yeah. The Wasteland stays and taps for mana. Definitely. Because his, 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 his thing is in play right now. If Mickey had Spawning Pool, this would be a much different game. No, Spawning Pit or Spawning Pool? Which is the <laughs> one, the two mana artifact? Actually, he's got an all round. Never mind. The Spawning the old Pit, yeah. Spawning Pit, yeah, spawning the old. Pit. The yeah, old... yeah, yeah, it's, it's sack, you get a charge counter on it. You sack a creature. Yep. It costs one mana to activate. You got two, two, two. mana to play. That's you, one you mana to... Even out. <laughs> yeah, no, he can't do it because no one. Yeah, I already, I already right? corrected myself, yeah. Can't use it. Yep, it's... Yeah. It has an activation cost, yeah. No, the activation cost, the activation cost is to make a guy. You sack two, you get two charge okay. counters, you pay one, and then you make a guy. 
Yeah, but I mean, sacrificing creatures is a cost too. Yeah, it's a cost, but it's not a mana cost. But still, yeah, like he, it's... he can't use it on the rod. Is I mean, what I was trying to say. But... It stopped being fun when Null Rod doesn't play. Just go figure. Null Rod is the one of the bigger um, fun police it not... cards. It does nothing. No. <laughs> it does. I nothing. love I love that flavor attack, <laughs> but it doesn't do anything. No, it does nothing. <laughs> Alright, we got here. Killing more than two. Oh, this might be a big, uh, a big flip. Doing them five at a time. Oh, Sphinx. Yep. There's the Sphinx. Then he draws a card. He can copy the Sphinx. He can copy the Sphinx. It's not legendary, right? No. So he could double copy the Sphinx. <clears throat> we can only get, he only has enough mana to do it once. Um. But you can copy the Sphinx, and then uh, they can get them some life back when they trade, or if they trade. Yeah, that's true. He can gain, he can, well, like, he pays six to play it, and then he gains six. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's, it's a there. wash. If he draws Talarian Academy, though, that's pretty good. He could pay. Matt cannot back. kill the Sphinx, either. It's protection from everything in his hand. <laughs> What's the question? Can I interact once you have the target? Uh, oh, yeah. The trigger happens and it goes and you're still on upkeep. He wants to waste. I don't know if he wants to waste. He should not be wastelanding. No, he's, he Especially needs... after he sees that Sphinx is out. Yeah. I mean, you could consider wastelanding if he has Crystal Brand, but you don't want to wasteland when it's yeah. Sphinx. Hmm. Oh, it's just pass and then oath again. Although this next oath could be really risky because the salvagers is in his hand, unless he just boarded up to four creatures, which probably did not happen. It's in his graveyard. He has got a bunch of stuff that doesn't work and some restricted cards. Not too much. So a lot left in his deck. Chalice doesn't do anything. It's not a mana source. Um, he just drops the. He should just drop the metamorph on the Sphinx. Which he'll have no response to because it's as it comes into play, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the yeah, battlefield no as. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I mean it's just four, three. It's parody. Mac Mac has the oath again. Yeah. <laughs> That's a terrible chalice. It's, I don't agree Chalice on the draw. This is Chalice on the play. Was he going first? Oh, yeah. Can trains. All right. So metamorph, he takes a bunch of damage. He should be at poor life. Yeah. I have him just to take the damage. Like, come on, do I get this? I think he's seeing if he resolves or not. Because he got countered, he would just concede. Yeah. Right. You know what's funny about this is that none of his artifact removal can deal with it. Is yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, earlier. Yeah, his decks is. The the reason why he's playing it is because it has protection from those things. So yeah. Now, now that's now that's biting him back. <laughs> <laughs> he's one. the one with those cards. Interesting. Um, I don't want really to understand what that does, but um, I don't know. Conceding to that? There's still two spheres in play. You're getting four life back. Yeah. Back. I actually like that. <laughs> I get four life. <laughs> <laughs> you get you get four life. I thought he was targeting the uh, the Sphinx, but no, it is protection from green. I mean, it's got mana. It's got colored mana symbols in it. He doesn't know what it does. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I've never seen this card before. <laughs> what is like what? I just it's big, so I get big too. Protection, protection from not artifact. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> These protections are usually irrelevant for me. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, we're oathing again. Let's see what we got. Okay, there's a grudge, which doesn't do anything. Uh, another oath, confluence. Um, maybe that's why he did, took out the... I don't know. Why, why don't we just take out the sphere then? He has two grudges. Grudges. I mean, he's he can double, getting he can pretty double, low he can in cards. Both of spheres up now. Yeah. There's enough mana. Uh, his deck's getting pretty low. Oh, man. Grizzlebrand, second from the bottom. He's not going to get any draws off on it now. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so you're right. He probably he, did, he had to abort it out that oh. uh, second salvagers. Yeah, eight he... cards. Okay, that's so fine. He can't, activate, he can't activate the Grizzlebrand. No, he cannot. Still, What's even left seven, in his... Still 7-7 seven, seven lifelinker. So, all of his forces are gone. And but Is he's he... got two grudge uh a steel sabotage is left. He has the combo in his graveyard. He um, does. So if he can sweep away the moxes with these grudges end of turn. So that's pass if I'm him. Or play the land. I don't even know if there's someone to get from his deck, but whatever, just play it. Or what and is I pass and I grudge fuse both grudges at the end of his turn. Both and then just combo him out next turn. Yeah. Because the spheres are going to lock Mickey out of anything on his turn. Well, he can Almost. still go for the Metamorph. Yeah, he can go for another Metamorph. Which can copy Gristlebrand. And then it's a... Uh... He'll be at 8 life again. He'll be tapped out, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so... the game... I guess he could pay life and then get... Yeah, I, I, yeah, I guess it gets a little more complicated. Well, he makes another... Second. He copies... Matt doesn't know... Matt doesn't know about the second Metamorph, but I guess he could be playing around it now. Now main phasing? He's doing something with all his mana. Oh, he's playing the Salvagers. He's playing the Salvagers this turn, and then he can combo next turn. Yeah, because he can just pick up the... Um... What the heck? <laughs> he just, he's made a token. Just... <laughs> yeah, okay. well, he made it for... for Mickey earlier, that's why. Makes him two tokens. Oh yeah, yeah, and that's actually he need kind of needed to do that. Yeah. <laughs> oath so oath affects both players. That's really why bad. it costs two, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. Yeah. That's how Garfield <laughs> intended it. As a quote from Rich Rich Shea there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't think that was a Garfield. I remember it used I mean, to cost four. It, and general cards that like have mirrored effects, they're like, "Oh, it's fair. It works on both players. Rest in peace. Works on both players. It's fair." <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. <laughs> not if they're not playing a graveyard deck. <laughs> you've you've summoned Rich Shea in the chat, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you just say his name, he appears. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we drew. All right. I mean, the only play is Metamorph, right? And then that just gets Ancient Grudged. I mean, you Metamorph the Sphinx is the one again. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you, you can double block. If you Metamorph the Gristlebrand, he's going to stack it. Right, yeah, but uh, you Metamorph the, the Sphinx again, because it's got First Strike, you can double block. Yeah, you can double block all of Matt's stuff. Yeah. Except for the Sphinx, it's his Matt Sphinx. Right, and you just trade Sphinxes. Which he has another metamorph. But Matt can't attack with the Gristlebrand and the Sphinx next turn. He can only attack with just the... But it really doesn't matter because Matt's going to combo him out. It's all irrelevant. Not legendary, right? Nope. <laughs> I remember back in the day when Oath targets were Morphling, Spike Weaver, and Spike Feeder. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> fog monster. <laughs> it was a fog monster. <laughs> There was also no orchard, though, so... <laughs> yeah, you had to rely on your opponent casting a creature. Uth was a anti-creature card, basically. It's like, yes. I'm going to play Uth instead of my Wrath effect. Pretty much. Shuts down peak creature-based strategies on turn two. At least in extended turn two, not turn one. Well, yeah, Containment Priest to, always fails to Uth. But that's, <laughs> that's definitely how it should, should work, right? So, <laughs> on, on Moto, Containment Priest exiles itself. If uh, they oath into it, that makes and sense. Then, and then it's a, and then its effect stays on the table, so it just continues to exile things while it's sitting in the exile zone. 
Does it also work on flip uh, the flip planeswalkers so as well? They said they fixed the, they used to. Oh, did they? Used they? to do that flip ones. They said they fixed that. Of course they did. Who, who knows if it actually was fixed, but it made some though. All right, so fix up um, engine explosives. It announces his intent to play it. Has to pay for spears. Pay spheres pays two sunburst two. So he's got um, that. So he's just gonna combo kill him next turn. And kind of unfortunate that Null Rod also costs two. Not the he actually can't. Up and then he, he can play. It. Unless he draws, he can draw a workshop. So if he pays two under spheres for Chalice, it's still a Chalice zero and that works, right? If he pays two for. Okay, so he he wants to play Chalice for zero. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, you just pay okay. two. It only, it only counts the, yeah, it counts the what was paid for it, not what the X was. Okay, so it's the same reason for sunburst. So he just declares yeah, the chalice and then yeah. pays for it. Yeah, it's a sunburst thing. Sunburst is weird. Yeah, and <laughs> there's the new sunburst too now, right? Um, where that converge. New was. Converge. Yeah. Yeah, converge makes um playing stuff for free really bad. <laughs> sunburst. Sun, sunburst is like converge for permanence, and then or vice versa. Ugh. Freaking ancient to me. <laughs> Academy uh, Mishra's workshop. Nope, here's another oh, ancient. Ab- yeah. Team. Academy or workshop are the only ones that really save him though. So Yeah. I mean it's not the other ones don't even let him cast anything still. He, he should, has to attack with Sphinxes now. Should uh, gain the life back. So he's but just gonna get he's, he's just dying to combo kill. I think he's just gonna he's gonna tank for a little while. You should tap both of his ancient tombs in response to the damage on the stack, waste an ancient tomb, and then concede. I mean, he also doesn't know that Matt has two Zach Fadens in his hand. Well, no, he just... Yeah, this is not perfect information. He can attack him... I mean, if I'm him, I attack him with both Sphinxes. Matt probably trades with the one Sphinx and then kills the other one with the Crystal Brand. No, no, see, he has EE for two in play. He just pops it and then picks up his Lotus and then combo kills him. So he has yeah, to I kill. Yeah, I'm saying Mickey has to get some life back so he can cast stuff in his hand. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, so yeah. He has so to attack the... with at least one Sphinx. But attacking with only one Sphinx doesn't really make much sense because it just dies to Crystal Brand. Well, they have two vigilance for what it's worth. Yeah. No. Yeah, they have vigilance. Matt's gonna block them though. Yeah. I don't see why he wouldn't. Um, Mickey gains life and that lets him cast stuff, so they can cast a rod and force Matt to pop the EE. And then he can, and then he's out from underneath the spheres. Right. He can use the third age of tomb because he gained twelve life. Um, so he can drop a no rod will cost four under the two spheres, and then he can drop a metamorph and copy the gristle brand. Um, gristle. and then he'll pass the turn. And Matt's gonna either grudge grudge. Combo him. He can just combo. He can combo regardless. He has two grudges yeah, in the yeah, graveyard. Right. Yeah, he just. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, Mickey sees the grudges, I guess. The grudges yeah, can just hit the gristle brand. Yeah, grudges yeah. and that. he's gonna he's gonna tank for a little bit, but it looks like just and yeah. Moving around his orchard tokens. Yeah. Yeah, I was just trying to play think about it if he has any way out of this, but I think he's just dead next turn no matter what. <clears throat> I was going to say, like, maybe if uh, Matt's power goes out, but I think he would just give him the win anyway. Matt's power goes out? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, th- think of anything. you got to think of anything, right? <laughs> <laughs> Outside the circumstances. Outside circumstances. <laughs> yeah, so they both trade. So he gains. Mickey can, ha- Mickey can hack into his computer and then make him make massive misplays or something. <laughs> All right, so he's at 14. So you can make a copy of... Oh, they first strike each other. They're both dead. I guess they didn't need to copy the Crystal Brand. Um, you, definitely, you have to drop the rod right here. Force him to... Wait, does he need to copy the Crystal Brand? Six, I... six. Copies but Crystal it... Brand and gets grudged. Yeah, he'll survive. He'll survive one more turn. He has one, one way of surviving another turn. So if he well, what's the what's it? Because the EE he has to pop it, and then he can just grudge the rod, 
um if he copies so he, he just copies crystal brand and draws cards like what's the I'm not sure how he gets out of this oh where there's two grudges yeah there's two grudges second yeah all right and there's an ee yeah there's yeah, an ee not... yeah he goes rod he in response pops ee and then all the actually he kills his own oath <laughs> He kills his own oath. It's relevant. That's, that's funny. Yeah. It's not he relevant. It. If he wants to mill himself to death, that's it. But yeah. <laughs> um, he kills his fears. Right. The chow- Then the rod is in play. He only has three mana left, though. He can drop a chalice at zero, and he can copy the gristle brand with a metamorph. Grudge, grudge. Grudge yep. takes out the... Null rod. Chal- the chalice and the null rod. And then he combo kills them with salvagers. So just go through the cards in hand. Um, Lodestone does not affect it. Null Rod, there's one Ancient Grudge. Chalice, well, there's two get, Ancient Grudge. You can't cast them. The, the, he needs to play the Null Rod, obviously. Yeah. <clears throat> Lodestone does nothing. Yeah. It's I, I, I think he's just thinking about it. He doesn't want to concede, but this game's pretty over with the combo kill. He's going to go for... Uh, that and he wants to copy. Uh yeah. I mean, I don't think this lane does anything. No, it's it costs him six life. He sounds it. He uh, can Crystal... only copy something that can get grudged. He yeah. should be at six. Oh wait, oh yeah, he goes to eight. Yeah, he goes to eight. Copies Crystal Brands. He doesn't even care about the Crystal Brand unless he's gonna just wants to draw cards. Maybe he's just gonna try to draw cards. Yeah. Maybe he calculated that he was dead. Unless he draws cards. Like, what's he looking to draw? Um, and he can't draw anything now. <laughs> He'll be at one life. <laughs> he can draw. He can draw down the he, one. And the, and... He, gets, he gets one. He gets an... And Mishra's Matt only has to activate... Um... He gets a Mishra's Workshop. A Lotus generates one mana. Because <laughs> he's still under his spheres. That's, I mean, that's the biggest issue. Yeah. Um, He needed to make Matt pop the EE to really do anything, but... So that he could get on, out from any of the spheres. But he didn't really top deck anything good, so. Nope. End of turn. Token. Two tokens. It's, it's one token and one life. Okay. One of the confluence. Pop in the E. He's going to grudge one of the. He's going to grudge the chalice. So... Yeah, and then he just kills him with picking up Lotus. So he thought yeah. about it for a while, but there really was just no path to it. It just loses a double. Conceding is the way to resolve this turn properly. <laughs> I don't. If anyone has any ideas why my mic does that, I'm open for them. But I don't know why. Perfectly honest, I cannot figure out why because it happens it randomly. Is. It happens. There's no. There's no like physical thing happening to it. No, I. So... It's. I'm not even touching it. Oh. Okay. Maybe it's. A, I don't know. I have no idea what. Does it is. that happen with software or something? It doesn't happen sort of at software, any point sort of, except when I'm streaming. Of, yeah, and no, I'm just it's some sort of software glitch or something. I don't know. I don't. Which I don't know. Could be impossible to solve. So I wouldn't really worry about it. I got it right away. Oh. So this yes wasn't fast enough. You know, it's like I'm not even touching anything. I don't know why it does that. But he's pointing out. But he only yeah he only needs to go through the combo twice. <clears throat> yeah, he definitely was getting out of that. One hundred percent. All right, so they're discussing the match. It's, yeah. Yeah, so that that's it. So um, we'll take a quick break. Next is going to be Mentor versus Dredge. So that should be pretty quick games either way. Hopefully. Just... <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, that was a marathon. 
we've had two two long matches in a row. We've had two pretty long grueling matches. This one was an hour, so <laughs> we'll take a quick break and then we'll be back. <laughs> 